All right, so we want to find if these are inverses of each other. How we do that is f of g of x is going to be equal to g f of x. So starting off, we're going to do f of g of x. So this becomes um, plug in g of x for every x component in f of x. So we get 2 quantity 4x minus 3 over 2 minus x. This isn't going to be as scary as it looks. So then we get oops, 4x minus 3 over 2 minus x plus 4. So it's just common denominators. I'm going to move up here. So I get 8x minus 6. I multiply the 2 across. And then what I'm going to do here, you got to be careful, is I'm a, well, plus uh, 3 quantity 2 minus x. Um, and then on the bottom is just 2 minus x. What I did here is I'm able to have common denominators common denominators because I multiplied 3 times 2 minus x. I haven't distributed yet though. So this becomes 4x minus 3 plus 4 quantity 2 minus x. Yeah, it should be 2 minus x. Okay, um, and this is all over 2 minus x. So these 2 minus x's cancel out. Um, it's like the reciprocal equation. So if you were to, you can multiply this out. So it'd be two minus X over the four X minus three plus four quantity two minus X. All right. So we get X eight X minus six. I'm going to multiply this out. So I get six minus, um, three X over four X minus three plus eight minus four X. All right. So four X's cancel out here. Um, so this becomes five X six cancel out and this becomes five. Oh, Hey, and this becomes X. Hey, that worked out nice. <laughs> well, that's what we're supposed to get because it's assumed this is probably going to be trying to prove it's an inverse. All right. The exact same principle uh, for G of F of X, except it's just the reverse. So four quantity, 2x plus 3 over x plus 4. Um, minus 3. 2 minus 2x plus 3 over x plus 4. All right, and then we get... Um, I'm going to multiply this out, so I get 8x plus 6 um, minus 3 quantity x plus 4 all over x plus 4. And what I did here is I got common denominators. So I have to multiply three times that so I get that common denominator. All right, so I get 2 quantity x plus 4. So I have the common denominator x plus 4. And then minus 2x plus 3. So these cancel out. Um, 8x plus 6 minus 3x minus 12. You get, can't forget to distribute the minus sign with that. Okay. Um, 2x plus 8 minus 2x plus 3. Uh, 2x cancel out. Um, that should be minus 3. I don't know what's going on here. No, it's plus three. All right, something wrong here. Actually, this should be um, <coughs> this should be twelve, plus twelve. So twelves cancel out, and this becomes five x. Yeah, and this is minus three. I don't know why I didn't distribute. All right, so this becomes five x over five and the and it just becomes x okay um that proves that these are inverses of each other and x is all reals except x x cannot equal negative four or two in the denominator because that will make it equal to zero but otherwise all reals okay and that's it there we go